if you think TCS hack quest round 2 is just theory, you are already making a mistake. Round 2 is a fast, remote proctored CTF and most people fail not because they don't know enough but because they don't know what to focus on. So in this video, I will tell you what round 2 actually looks like, what topics really repeat, what you should study and how top performers crack it under pressure. So what round 2 really is? Round 2 is shorter, strictly proctored. That is, camera will be on verific and verification will be done. And there will be real world CTF style challenges which you need to face. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I post the videos related to tech updates, job updates, internship updates and free courses. So do check out my videos and don't forget to on the notification bell. And do follow my social media handles for more updates. This is not about memorizing theory. This is about identifying the vulnerability in 2 to 3 minutes and using the right tool immediately. So this round 2 will test how fast you can solve the problem, how fast you can identify the vulnerability, what tool you can, how fast you can use the tools to solve that. So next, what repeats every season? So what I am telling today is totally based on upon my research. So I won't say that depend on this solely, you can do your own research as well. And I also took the reference of season line and based on that, I am making this video. So what you will face in season 10 may be a little different from what I am telling. So, so if it is okay, then you can proceed with the video or else I don't want to waste your time. Okay, next, what repeats every season? So based on the previous round two write-ups, so you will notice same patterns again and again. So you'll mostly see web and client side issues like view source, hidden JavaScript, secret API calls. You mostly will see this. Then JWT manipulation like changing roles from user to admin, weak token handling. Then forensics challenges like QR reconstruction, hidden strings in files, basic web exploitation like LFI, find download misuse. So if you prepare this properly, you are already ahead of most candidates. So these are mostly repeated patterns in TCS hack quest. So go through these ones. Next, what you should study? So the top priority is given to web exploitation. It is very very important. So you must focus on browser development tools like network tab, sources, local storage and, and you must focus on JWT basics. JWT is nothing but JSON web tokens. So you must focus on header, payload, signature, roam and claim, manipulation. Then file vulnerabilities like LFI. So here LFI is nothing but local file inclusion. You must be aware of the topics and path traversal. In common web bugs like IDOR, auth bypass. And if you want one resource, then it would be Forceswigger Web Security Academy. So you can just go to Google and type this Forceswigger Web Security Academy. Then you will get this website. From here you can learn. So here you can find some resources. You can go through it. Next, Forensics. You can gain easily marks if you are fast in this phase. So here you can gain the marks easily if you are fast at this particular phase. So most forensic flags are not hard, they are just hidden. So you need to find them. And you should be comfortable with file, strings, grep, bin walk, access tool, XST. These are some of the commands or like also practice extracting embedded files, checking metadata, fixing or reconstructing QR codes. So here the speed matters. So you need to be speed here. So plan accordingly. Next, Python scripting, your biggest advantage. You don't need DSA or competitive coding here. You just need quick decoding scripts, text cleaning, small XOR or base64 helpers. Then you must know binary to image conversion. One simple Python script can save you 15 to 20 minutes in round 2. So make sure you are learning Python scripting. Next, crypto. CTF basics only. So CTF is nothing but capture the flag. You need to learn the basics like base64, base32, hex, zor, 
Caesar, Winjunri has recognition. So these are some coding and uh, decoding tools you may say. And if it looks complicated, remember it usually just encoded, not encrypted. So how you should prepare? So plan accordingly. Spend daily two to three hours, like one half a web, like two port sugar labs, JWT, access control, file path issue. Focus on these topics. Then uh, the second hour you can go with forensics, like one cast the flag forensics challenge. Use Linux commands only, it will helpful. Then for 30 to 60 minutes, practice Python, that is scripting. Write one small script daily. Then consistency beats random practice. So be consistent, practice. So how many days left? So as per my research, I think, uh, as per my research, I think the exam is on Jan 17. So still you have four days. So be consistent. Learn how much you can in these four days. Be consistent. Next, tools you must be comfortable with. So before round two, make sure you can confidently use browser dev tools, verb suit, basic level. So research about this and learn how to use these tools. You can uh, search in YouTube also. You will find many videos on this. And how to use JWT tools like uh, JSON web token tools. Then how to use Linux terminal, very important because everything you need to write in that, right? Like commanding you need to do in that. So make sure you are very familiar with it and learn Python because it will save your time. Learn how to write scripts and all so it will save your time. Next round two strategy. This decides your rank. So follow this during the contest. First five minutes, open all the challenges. Mark easy, medium, hard. Then solve quick wins first, like view source, JavaScript, base 64 QR. If stuck more than 10 minutes, then move on. Then keep notes and screenshot. You might need them later. So if they are not asking report also for like for on safety side, you keep notes and screenshots. So they may be so they may be helpful later. So round two is not about ego, it's about time management. So this is what I found from internet, that is season 9, round 2, round 2 details. So I found season 9, round 2 details, I couldn't find season 10. So based on this, I am preparing this video, so it will be helpful for some of you. So that's the motto, I, I am preparing this video. So if you are finding this video helpful, please like, hype and share with your friends, so it will be useful for them also. So let's have a glance at round two details. So all participants are expected to join the Microsoft Teams link at 8.30 a.m. on 8 Feb. That was in season 9 but this time you might have on Jan 17. And wait in the lobby to get themselves verified using government issued IDs like Aadhaar, PAN, driver's, li driver's license. So make sure you're keeping the documents ready. So this TCS hack quest will be proctored round. That means they will monitor you. And this will start at 10 a.m. And continue till 1 p.m. So verification will be from 8.30 onwards. And the round will start at 10 a.m. And they will monitor you from there. So please join the MS Teams link that has been provided in your register email. So the links links and all you'll be getting to your register email id so make sure you're checking your mails regularly and joining late might add further delays in id verification and the account activation and this might result in losing valuable time that may be used for solving challenges so make sure you're being punctual and being on time so participants are expected to be ready with their platform of choice to solve the challenges there might be challenges which are easier to solve in certain OS distribution. So plan accordingly uh, what platform you will choose and all. Then you are allowed to use tools and programming languages of your choice. So you can use tools and you can use the programming language of your choice. It's up to you. But uses of any automated scanners or tools which send a huge traffic is prohibited. So make sure you are not doing such automated scanners or Make sure you're not using any automated scanners or tools which will harm the website. So keep this in mind. So your access may be blocked from the application if you do so. Then logging into the portal is not part of the challenge. Please do not 
attempt to tamper with the TCS Hackverse platform itself. So make sure you're not doing such kind of things like tampering and all. And you're not supposed to run the brute force attacks. And if you do so, you will be terminated from the test. And in case of any other queries or issues, you can write them. You can write to them. And this is the support email. Careers at the red TCS.com. And from your next step, register email ID. So make sure you're or texting them or mailing them through your register mail id and mention the issue clearly be specific and mention like like from which season that is tcs hackwell season 10 in the subject you need to mention that and mention your ctdt id as well so be specific and include additional details you may think will be um, will be relevant like such as troubleshooting steps you have taken like what you have done like what the problem you faced and what you done to solve that you can if you mention that it will be specific right so it will be easier them to solve the problem and by participating in the proctored round you are allowing us to secure screen graphs of your face and id card for establishing your identity in identity in further rounds of the contest your information will be used for identity verification record keeping and other necessary procedures so as this is the proctored round, you will be monitored, you need to own your camera. So, what they are telling is, you will be monitored and this will be recorded. So, further, if they need any verifications and or if they can, if they need for ID verification, they will use this. So, make sure you are, so make sure you are presenting well, like you are being, you are maintaining good posture and all. So login will be activated for the individual candidates after they have been verified by Proctor on MS team links provided. Challenges will be activated once the contest begins at 10 a.m. So for all the contest will begin at 10. But if you delay, then you can lose your time, which may be useful when solving challenges. So make sure you're being prepared before the exam. Keep everything ready and make sure you're being on time. And to participate in the Proctor round, Contestants must log in with the CT or DT ID and the password. So as usual, to participate, you need to log in with your CT or DT ID and with your password. So this is a proctored assessment. So candidate or mandate to on the camera. So you must on the camera. As I said, it is a proctored exam. That, that means you will be monitored during the test. So make sure you're owning the camera and make sure you have high stability uh, network connection so make sure you're using stable high speed internet connection there will be no issue with your video so make sure you're following it and being prepared for it so my final words for you so if you have already cleared round one then you have the potential to clear the round two also so what you need is focused preparation calm execution smart uses of tools so all the best for your exam and that's all for today's video. If you have any doubts regarding this video or any other videos from my channel, you can just drop them in the comment box. I'll surely reply to everyone. And if you want me to make a video on any other topic, you can just let me know in the comment box. I'll surely prepare a video on that too. And if you found this video helpful, please like, hype and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.